Hi there, and welcome to this web lecture on social psychology. Did you know that there are many theories that explain why we experience emotions? Do you know what our most important emotions are? My name is Peter Ruiten, and today we will be talking about emotion and affect. This web lecture will be split up into three different sections. In the first section, I will present a few different theories on emotion. After that, I will um, show some important emotions that all humans experience. And at the end, I will explain why we experience emotions in the first place. We will start with showing a few theories of emotion. The first theory is called the James Lange theory of emotion. This theory states that when we encounter an emotional stimulus, something happens to our physiology and, and we relate that to a certain emotion. The Schachter Singer theory states that when we encounter an emotional stimulus, two processes happen at the same time after which we have an emotional experience. And the excitation transfer theory shows that when we have an increased physiological arousal, this may influence our emotional experience in a future event. Let's take a look at how these theories work. The first one is the James Lange theory of emotion. This theory states that an emotional stimulus activates some physiological arousal, which in turn leads to us experiencing an emotion. The second theory is the Schachter-Singer theory of emotion. This theory states that an emotional stimulus causes two events at the same time, physiological arousal and a cognitive label that we assign to it. These two components together lead to us experiencing an emotion. Could you think about which of these two theories is more likely to be true? Finally, the excitation transfer theory states that an increase in our physiological arousal could still be left when we encounter a new emotional stimulus. And due to this already present arousal, we falsely attribute this to the new stimulus. Before I continue with our most important emotions, I do want to explain some concepts that are related to emotion. Let's start with a definition of emotion itself, a conscious evaluative reaction to an event. This is different from what we call a mood, a feeling state that is not clearly linked to an event. The connection to an event thus explains the difference here. The last concept is affect, an automatic response that something is good or bad. Note that this is not a conscious evaluation, but an uncontrolled response to something that happens to you. Now that we have explained these concepts, let's have a look at some of the important emotions. The first of these emotions is happiness. Happiness can be described as feeling good right now. And if you ask people to describe what makes them feel good right now, they always focus on positive things. Some people feel very good about having a good house or a nice car, whereas other people focus more on experiences, like going on a nice holiday or be friends with people. Uh, happiness is also related to uh, feeling healthy, because being happy uh, is shown to boost our immune system. The second emotion is anger. Anger is related to a response to a real or an imagined threat. And when we feel angry at something, this is a signal for us to approach or avoid a specific situation. Anger is always related or paired with an increased physiological arousal. The third emotion or set of emotions are guilt and shame. Guilt can be described as feeling that you did a wrong thing. So, this, um, the, so guilt really focuses on a specific event or a specific thing. If you feel shame, then you feel that you are a bad person. So this really reflects on you as a whole person. Even though these two uh, emotions are a bit different, both of them uh, show that they are negative moral feelings and are, they are related with a decrease in physiological arousal. The final emotion that we discussed today is disgust. Disgust is a feeling of revulsion. This feeling of revulsion can be a very strong cue to avoid things. Uh, and as, as such, um, disgust motivates healthy behaviors. Because when we feel disgusted about something, we tend to avoid that specific thing. 
When we take a look at why humans have emotions, we can come up with a number of different explanations. One of those is that feeling emotions helps us to get along better with each other. Uh, experiencing the same emotions with other people helps us to connect. Emotions can also be used as a feedback system that help us to process information. Because knowing how we feel in a certain situation tells us something about how this situation influences us. And we can use this information in the future for guiding our decisions and our choices. So as such, emotions can also be uh, helping us to anticipate how we feel in certain cases. To recap, I have show, shown you a number of different theories of emotion and how we experience emotions. I've shown you some important emotions that all of us experience. And finally, I have explained why humans experience these emotions. That was all for today. Thank you for listening and hope to see you again soon.